Hey, so it's been a while since I've done one of these. Probably a year now. Um, I a lot has happened. Um, got a new computer. I have a lot more packs now. I think I have all of them now, except for the uh, the my first pet stuff. Because why? Why would I get that? <laughs> um, so I'm wanting to make videos again and um, explore new games that have come out. Um, just uh, a lot of stuff. I want to do a lot of streaming as well. I've done two live streams on Twitch so far, um, and that's just playing Destiny with my boyfriend. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, and I did one stream on YouTube uh, for The Sims 4, so that was fun as well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly which one I want to do, so I've just been using both. Um, eventually I'll figure it out. So this is a uh, bunker community type of build. Um, I was inspired by Deligracy, she just did a bunker build. And uh, it made me think of like Fallout 4 or, you know, something like that. And I wanted to do something similar to like a vault. So it would have all the things necessary to live underground without needing to go up on the surface. So it has bedrooms, uh, kitchen, workout room, science room like anything and it was a very it took me a long time so there are a lot of cuts in the video uh, just skipping like boring stuff like fixing the stairs which I <laughs> couldn't figure out for the longest time uh, I guess I'm not good at stairs I don't know so uh, there's I think it goes down three flights of stairs and then there's two levels to the building underground so the first level is more of like the community, uh, the community rooms, so the garden and the kitchen, I believe, and fitness, whatever, all those are there. And there's even a community bathroom. And then uh, on the level below, there's the apartments or like bedrooms. They're more of just like bedrooms with pond suits. To kind of like apartments. I mean, why? I was thinking, like, why would I put like little kitchenettes or stuff in there when there's already a big like community kitchen? So I just left them as bedrooms, and then they each have their own bathroom. Uh, so I thought that was nice, and they each have their own style. I tried to make them a little different. And this is um, right now. I'm doing the emergency exit. So just. I mean, obviously this would never happen in The Sims, but if there was ever, like, a natural disaster or, like, somebody, like, maybe raiders came in and, like, were attacking, there's, um, there's an exit that they can take instead of taking the main one. Um, so it's just off to the side. I wish I could have made it look a bit more, like, discreet. I did put a lot of trees around, um at the end, or right now, actually. I think I moved some of that stuff around later, but yeah, I, I wish I could make it more discreet. Like, it would be cool if I didn't have to do the full walls, like if it could just be like in real life, where the doors are kind of like on the ground, sort of. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So I tried to hide that as much as I could. I was thinking about doing like a hill and seeing if I could do that, like put the exit in the hill, but that just seemed a little complicated and I'm not very good with terrain tools yet. Also, it's hard to do like bigger hills and cliffs and stuff on lots because the ground around it is completely flat, so it, it doesn't make sense uh, to do hills all the time, you know? Unless it's like a very large lot, then sometimes it can look a bit more natural. Like there's one build I did not too long ago and it's this gorgeous, like old castle type mansion. And that's kind of on like a, 
cliff type hill so that made sense it was on like a 64 by 64 so yeah but this is just a tiny lot and uh let's see so this room is the entrance to uh to the vault or the bunker whatever you want to call it i figured they would have like a computer like to monitor things or like to unlock doors and and stuff like that um, so that's what that room is. I didn't really know what else to put there, so that's just what I came up with. And it, it kind of took me a while to figure out what floors and walls I wanted, because I wanted it to look, like, not old and abandoned or anything like that, but I also didn't want it to look super futuristic. So I kind of tried to go in between, because I still see this as being in the future, just not not super far into the future. So uh, that's that's kind of the look I went for. And I used, I used the uh, club doors for a lot of the rooms, because they have the little symbol on them, like the fitness room has the fitness door, the kitchen has the little like knife and fork, I think, uh, design on the door. So that was fun. I couldn't find one for the like clinic because I did add a clinic into the build. I just used a wrench as the door design because I figured, you know, doctors fix things. It makes sense, right? I don't know. <laughs> and I, I actually really love this bathroom. I love the green accent colors and um, each little toilet has a shower. I I was just gonna do like each apartment has their own bathroom but I figured a community bathroom might be good too just in case I'm like uh, I think there's room for like uh, one two three, four, five, six, like eight sims I believe so you know, sometimes it's good to have more than a couple bathrooms, because then you won't have your sims, like, walking in on each other while they're trying to use the bathroom. Um, so here's that door, the club door. I don't know how they work, uh, just, like, on a residential lot. Like, I, I actually have never used them in a build before, but I wanted to try this time. So I'm not sure if they are locked all the time, like if you need to be in a club to enter, or if that's something you can set up like like the other doors in the game where you just kinda choose like who you want to let in and stuff. So I'll have to I'll have to check that out. I should have tested it before uploading it, but whatever. You it's pretty easy to change the doors if you need to. And so this is a yeah, this is just the garden. I added the little flower table thing. Which I actually haven't used yet. I'm, I was excited to use it because it, it's cool. It's something we haven't had in, in this uh, game yet. So, in The Sims 4, anyways, I'm not sure if we had one before. It's it's hard to remember. It's been a long time since I've played The Sims 2 or The Sims 3. Uh, yeah. So that's where they'll grow their food and flowers and whatever they want to build or whatever they want to grow there. And I figured um, you could move them around if you wanted to do like an uh, like an apple orchard or something. You could move them to the center so that there's room for the trees. And I I did two of them because I figured eight Sims. You know that's a lot of food. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, just really simple. I think I changed the floors in a little bit. Because they looked a little too old. I needed something to match the walls. Because they look, they look new and fresh. And the floor looks old and a little grungy. There you go. Floors are changing. <laughs> so, um, back to like a mini channel update. So, I would like to do Sims 4 live streams maybe once a week or so. I don't have a set schedule for that because I do have another job that I have to go to so it's hard to find exactly what time I can do stuff. 
but I'm I'm aiming for like Sunday Mondays once a week type of deal and I'll probably still be live streaming on Twitch with um, other people. I have some friends that like to live stream. They haven't in a while, but maybe I can get them to do it again. And uh, oh, these are the apartments. Oh, I guess I'm just lighting everything up. Those little spaces um, in the like big diagonal room, I wanted to do like a little bit of greenery so it doesn't look like they're I don't know so it doesn't feel like you're trapped underground like there's just a you know tiny bit of greenery make you feel at home I don't know I thought it was nice and plus it would add to like the futuristic part so I think I work on those a little bit later I'm getting ahead of myself uh so yeah so these are the the doors uh I was struggling to do like a media room I was thinking like the headphones or like whatever, but I figured I figured a like the little controller would be best because it's it's technically a game room. Like there's um that like ah oh, what are they called the little square things the video game square things <laughs> uh like the virtual reality game gaming squares. Yeah, whatever. So there's one of those in there, and like a uh, um, a chess table, the, a big TV, and a gaming console. I believe that's it, but yeah, it's basically a gaming room. And since each door is a different color, I wanted to add accent, uh, add the same accent color inside the room. So. You'll see that like the science room is gray, so I added the gray feature wall in the back. And I was kind of struggling to <laughs> figure out what I wanted to do in this room because I know like there's a couple of sciencey things, but I just I didn't want it to be huge either because it's not supposed to be just all science. So I, I did as much as I could. I mean, there's three different things that you can use there, so. That'd be cool. Also, I was thinking, I, I haven't made Sims for this build yet. I really wanted to, but I haven't had the time to like sit down and focus. But I was thinking like each Sim could have a different, um, like a different job within the bunker community. So there could be like one or two scientists, uh, a doctor, or a vet. I mean, you could easily add animals into the build. I didn't add any pet stuff, but it's eh, it's easy to fix. They they don't need much. Uh, so yeah, like a doctor or vet, and then a chef for the kitchen. Uh, two gardeners, maybe. What else? A librarian. I that's probably that'd be hard to do because I don't think that's an actual job. In sense. But it'd be cool if there was like a librarian job. I think there was one. In The Sims 3, I, there was like a there was a library lot that you could go to, and I think you could work there, which was cool. Man, we're missing out on a lot of stuff. I I miss The Sims 3, but it's very laggy. <laughs> like if you try to play now, and and the loading screens are very long. I I just can't be bothered. I I might revisit it again. I do have a lot of the expansion packs. I just don't have them downloaded on my on my new computer yet. So it, it might be fun to play with that. And plus, uh, they, they just, it just has so much more. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so each sim could have a different job. I think I covered all of the areas. I mean, you, there is a gaming room so you can have a professional gamer if you really want to, but that doesn't really make sense. I figured like doctor, scientist, yeah, that makes sense. And I could even have like a janitor, someone that's just in charge of cleaning up after everybody else. That might be kind of funny. And um, eventually I add a swimming pool, which is nice. I was going to do like an under, an underground 
underground swimming pool, so like the swimming pool would be right at the bottom of the building. But I figured it was getting big enough and I had a little space for it, so yeah. I, I was even gonna add a sauna, but I'm like, well, you probably wouldn't have a sauna in your underground bunker, you know, and it's the end of the world. Like, that's probably not a priority. Although they somehow have a gaming room in the future as the world is ending, so I don't know. <laughs> it could be like a really expensive luxury bunker for like the 1% of the world, you know? Just all the rich people. Apparently there's only eight of them. <laughs> according to my build, but yeah. Although if that were the case, I probably would have made it a lot more fancy, like golden chandeliers and marble floors. And speaking of marble floors, I finally got uh, Get Famous because it was on sale for the holidays. And I figured, well, I don't think anybody else is gonna get this for me. And I'd rather just buy it while it's on sale. So I just, I ran to my computer and just bought it right away for myself. Uh, I, I bought a lot of stuff for myself this Christmas, but I also I also bought a lot for everybody else and um, it's gonna be fun. I like to do like prank gifts kind of, so like I'll use like random boxes that I have laying around, so maybe it's like an expensive blender or something uh, like the boxes and then I put like a sweater inside so then they're thinking oh wow she got me this really expensive gift and then they open it and they're like oh it's a ten dollar sweater interesting <laughs> I also got uh, those prank gift boxes that you can buy like at Target uh, those are fun they're kind of pricey for a stupid like gift box but I, I at least bought one so that's gonna be fun we'll see we'll see how that goes it's supposed to be a what is it a coffee maker slash shower head so very weird I I kind of wish it existed just because it's so weird but <laughs> it's gonna be a fun a fun prank gift for sure I I think the only thing inside is uh like some clothes and, and perfume or something like that, so exciting. I wasn't excited about the holidays at first. I was actually really grumpy about it, but I think as I started buying all these fun gifts for people, I started to get more in the holiday mood. I might do a Christmas uh, build soon, but unfortunately I don't think I have time to edit it before, so it'd be like after Christmas build, which probably wouldn't be very popular. People are over over the holidays as soon as Christmas is over. Or is it until New Year's, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, so anyways, this is, uh, that was the, like, medical bay clinic area. I had to go into the, is it debug or whatever, the hidden items to find that uh, the bed, I thought you could just get it um, from the buy mode, but apparently you can't. It's in the hidden, in the hidden area. But I, I'm not sure if they can interact with it um, as well as they can like on the hospital lot. I haven't actually tested it, so hopefully that works. But. Yeah, so, and I added the greenery in the background, which I think looks awesome. It's also kind of inspired by Destiny, which I've been playing a lot lately. Just like the, there's like this one area in the story where there's just like a lot of greenery and then there's all these like screens and stuff and it's beautiful. So I kind of got inspiration from that also. Uh, I skipped over, I don't know if you could tell, I skipped over the part of the kitchen uh, part of the video because those counters on a diagonal wall 
Oh my goodness, I struggled with it for so long. It was so annoying. I just, I don't understand why they can't make counters work on diagonal walls. Like, you'd think that they would have done something about it. Or, or do they not want to? Like, do they not want people to use diagonal walls in their builds? I have no idea. But, yeah. Because I, I liked the idea of having it on that side, away from the exit. But it, it turned out alright anyways, because now the dining table is on the other side. Uh where the kitchen was supposed to be. And I couldn't find a matching color to that door because it's like an like a bright darkish yellow orangey color and we don't really have that color anywhere. So the closest I could find was were those uh, like stainless steel counters and then like the lights. And that was about it. <laughs> and I didn't want to go too crazy with the accent colors either cuz then it then it just looks crazy and I didn't I wanted it to look still pretty sleek I guess I don't know if sleek is the right word but yeah I actually really like this kitchen now that I'm looking at it again I like that there's windows into the garden so you can see where your food's coming from but I guess in the sims you just kind of buy it somehow through the fridge. I feel like whenever I put produce in the fridge, like it doesn't really make a difference. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, I also found all these really cool uh, like paintings and posters for for like the science career, I, I think. I think it's from like the, the microscope. So those were a cool addition to the science lab. And I, yeah, the dining room was nice. I wanted to add more color because obviously it's very gray and white right now. So I, I think I went through quite a few rugs. I cut out part of it, but yeah, I, I went through almost all the rugs to, <laughs> to try and find something that works. I wanted it to be like to match the other colors but also you know not be too powerful I guess if that makes sense and you know I'm not quite sure what to say <laughs> there I'm just uh, pretty much doing the finishing touches the middle like lobby rooms or whatever were really boring and I didn't want to add like things to do because then they will be hanging out there all the time so I kind of just added some tables and then I did like the chores uh, wall chart thing I don't know how that's gonna work <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that a lot in this video I really should have just went through and tested things out but I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm hoping it works with adults too. Like, is there is there a way to make people do certain things, like in the chore thing? So, like, maybe you can tell someone to like clean or like cook food. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so these are the bedrooms. They're just really simple, and then like a decent sized bathroom. I didn't want to add too much like to it because then it just gets really cluttered and it's it's supposed to be pretty clean and simple and there's maybe just like a couple of like random items to make it look like somebody actually lives there with a personality you know <laughs> and yeah I forgot a bathroom for that one also I think the yeah, I'm getting rid of all the double doors. They kind of stacked as I was uh, copying the bathroom around. And yeah, just easy, simple. I don't, I don't like that I have those like frosted glass doors, but I couldn't find any other modern 
doors that kind of suited the place. Like, I wanted them to be a little bit taller and more sleek. Like, I did use those, like, green modern uh, doors in the bathroom, but I don't like any of the other colors. They didn't have... They don't have any, like, gray or black doors. It's, like, colorful or brown. And I definitely did not want to use brown in this build because there's no brown whatsoever in here. So, it's just... I really feel like they need to add more modern doors. I'm very disappointed that we haven't gotten any yet. Like, there... We have more for, like, the taller doors or, like, the double doors. Just, just a plain, simple, single door. That's all I need, you know? But, you know, I can just pretend that the black glass doors, like, are a little bit less see-through. I don't know. <laughs> it's not like The Sims really care, honestly. They, they don't care at all. Unless you walk in on them in the bathroom. Then they care. But they, you know... I, I feel like they're just mindless blobs that walk around in you. I don't know. They don't care about anything. Uh, this is the, the pool room. It's really small. <laughs> I think I make it just slightly bigger. Yeah, there you go. Slightly bigger, but it's still pretty tiny. And I guess... I kind of thought of it as like a like a little spa area so like you don't really go in there to like have fun and like swim around it's more of just like a soaking pool where you just kind of float there or do laps or whatever by yourself not like a it's not supposed to be like a party pool room or anything like that and I I, I really liked the the little like hanging plants over the oh my gosh what is it called the fountain over the fountains I thought it added a really nice touch and added to kind of like the spa feeling that I was going for and uh, just finishing off the outside I I built this in the oh gosh you know I honestly forgot what that world is called the like the vampire world because it was like dark and kind of gross and I figured that would be good for like a an apocalypse type setting I guess or pre apocalypse setting I don't even know if that makes sense but yeah oh also I had no idea that you couldn't use the uh, mailboxes from city living because they used it in a in a build that's not an apartment in in the uh, San Myshuno, and I figured that it would be there or in the build mode, but apparently not. So, uh, yeah, that's news to me. You can't even find it in Debug, which sucks. Uh, so I just had to use that like modern mailbox. Anyways, uh, screenshots and. That's pretty much done. I had a lot of fun doing this build. I was really inspired and I tried to make up a story as I was going, so that was fun. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I know it's been a while for for videos. I, I'm planning on uploading more as much as I can and I will be live streaming at least once a week. Uh, maybe once or twice a week uh, so subscribe and stay tuned uh, my twitch account is it's the same name as my YouTube so it should be pretty easy to find uh, so yeah thank you thanks for watching